the Health Center tonight, May is National Stroke Awareness Month. And tonight, we share a local woman's story of survival and tell you what to look for when it comes to brain bleeds. I was supposed to preach that Wednesday, but I never made it. Ordained minister Judy Ritter Dixon of Dover, York County, never made it because she had a stroke. I think about a week later, I woke up and couldn't figure out where I was. Weeks of therapy at Wellspan Surgery and Rehabilitation Hospital helped Judy to regain control of her right side. I couldn't sit up. I was kind of going to this side because the, the brain bleed was on this side. So anytime you have a bleed on this side, it affects this side. When she first came to us, she could barely move in the bed. She was unable to get out of the bed unassisted. She had difficulty in, in speaking and in really recognizing everything that was going around her. She's had a remarkable re recovery. Dr. Hugh Gregory says it's important to recognize the signs of stroke, numbness or weakness of the face, arm or leg, especially on one side of the body, confusion, trouble speaking or understanding, loss of vision in one or both eyes, trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination. Also, a sudden unexplained headache. Don't wait. Get help immediately. A stroke is an emergency. A delay could be devastating. Medications such as TPA, which can be administered, but they have to be administered within a three-hour window from the time that the stroke begins. As for Judy, she walks a little slower and has some memory loss, but she's changed her diet and will become more active. Judy vows. I will never, ever let this happen again if I can help it. Now, Judy will turn 61 this August and is looking forward to many, many more birthdays, and we wish this for you. She thanks friends and family for their support.